Hey there folks, welcome back to Midwest Horizons here. It is my 310's Ranch series, and we are still in June, still in June. It's been a while since the last episode, just been uh, very, very busy around our little mini farm here uh, in real life. I actually got a lot of stuff going on uh, in the garden, and it's just been uh, keeping us busy, harvesting that, putting it up, and uh, just enjoying the fruits of our labor actually so what have we done so what have we done since the last episode quite a bit actually quite a bit oh you see this field right here beside the truck uh, that field actually had the barley in it and all of that is harvested Got quite a bit of barley in the silo let's take a look real quick uh, almost 550,000 liters of barley. So that is going to bring a very nice price later on when we can sell that. So that was a, <laughs> quite a surprise. Had no idea it was going to end up with that much. Uh, something else to note. Uh, let's roll down here. So the clover hay, we're about to look at that. 500,000 liters off of that field. Does that seem as excessive? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, a half a million liters. You know, these bales, well, they're white again. I think the uh, texture here with this particular baler is not, not working correctly. But anyhow, they are 50,000 liter bales. You see the bales out there. So there must be 10 of them. Yep, looks like 10. So, I don't know, that seems like a lot. It really, it, it really does. I don't know. I'm happy with it. I'm not complaining. So we're going to take it. So we're going to pick these up real quick. And while we do that, we're going to talk about what we're going to do with these bells. So, you know, I do have the feed mixer. I've got to try to keep enough food for the cows. But I also need to try to make some money. Because we do have still some things we need. Still some cows to buy and expand the herd. But we also need to pay down the debt. So I need to make some money. And I think the best way for me to try to do that is maybe with some silage. Since I do have quite a bit of land uh, that has grass in it. Uh, as well as we do have a cornfield. Ooh, this one back here. Ooh, got a little squirrely there. Got a little squirrely. Yeah, so I think we're going to make some silage. And that'll help, uh, well, excess silage, I should say. We do need silage for the cows and their food needs. But we need some extra that we can sell. I think that'll bring some really good um, money to the bank account. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, this field directly across from me. Uh, that field, I'm waiting. Uh, I think we're going to make silage out of it, but we may pick that up with a forage wagon and put it into the fermenting silo. Uh, so we have this clover hay, a half a mil million liters, and it is going to go into the food mixer. You see the rakes over there, I got it going uh, just to help out. Now, you know that rake is missing, look at that. Huh. Well, we'll have to fix that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to rake that up, get it into some uh, bigger rows there. So if we do pick it up with the uh, the forge wagon, pick it up loose, it'll go a little quicker. We're going to take these over here. Now, one thing I still need to do, I need to get something with forks. I, you know, I'm simulating this. I, I really should have some type of front loader or telehandler or something on this farm. But we're just going to do this. As is, we're just going to pretend we're going to roll these bells off the trailer. We're going to loose the straps and roll them off. So this is our hay uh, stall here on the mixer. Uh, we do have 638,000 liters, so I think it'll only hold a million. So I don't think all of the bells will actually go in. But let's take a look and see what happens here. Oh boy, they rolled in. Oh boy, they do not appear 
to be converting into hay. Yep, it is not. It is not. So, yep, what we're going to have to do is put those into the uh, mixing wagon. We'll do that at a later time. I do want to get uh, some forks for that. So we're just going to leave these over here in the, in the storage shed for now. Put those in there. There they go. So I do want to point out that all of these straw, man, I'm getting a little bit of lag around that truck there. All of the straw off that field is in this barn. You see we have 26 bales and they're 50,000 liters each. So if we look at the straw in our uh, menu here, straw is uh, right here. So only, uh, only, almost 1.5 million liters of straw. Straw is going to be a big deal on this playthrough. I'm finding out that straw is going to be uh, rather important uh, to good grief I'm getting some lag around that trailer Ooh, yeah it's gonna be rather important to our uh, financial income on this playthrough so if you remember I had this big field in grass so what I've done is I took the swather and you see we have some really nice rows that have been made well the tractor is actually running on the course that the swather made and it is uh, going ahead and bailing up Ooh, almost jackknifed it there bailing up the grass making it into uh, these silage bales so we're going to do uh, the silage this way uh, on this particular field see how many bales we end up with I'm going to go ahead and run around the field and get these bales here on the end out of the way just to make sure we don't have any problems I don't think we will these bells are so big, they're spaced out quite a bit, so shouldn't be any issues, but we'll go ahead and pick them up anyway. So if you notice the thumbnail of the video, you notice the big 9R. So I did end up going with the 9R uh, out of those tractors that were available in the uh, used vehicle section. I wanted to stick with what I uh, initially wanted to do on this playthrough, and that's using... Uh, tire wheel and tire tractors no tracks uh, you know down here uh, locally I never have seen <laughs> a tracked vehicle a tracked tractor uh, every farmer that I know around here now I'm not saying there's not one down here but I have never seen one operating on the farms in this area so uh, I don't think that that the uh, farmers need it. I think that the wheeled ones are just more efficient, cheaper uh, with the the uh, sandy soils that we have down here. It works just fine. Uh, they don't need the extra traction or anything that the uh, the tracks may offer. So uh, I just don't see them. So it is just not something that I'm really familiar with or uh, have a visibility to in real life so that's why I wanted to do this playthrough just sticking with the vehicles or the tractors that have tires so let's go ahead and check this truck here I have brought it over uh, so <laughs> I'm getting to the point of being overwhelmed uh, it is getting to be quite the uh, ordeal here especially right now because I'm trying to get all this this grass work done Luckily, being on PC with course play, that makes that uh, process go a lot, a lot easier. Uh, we can even have helpers do the bailing for us, so that works out uh, to our benefit on this playthrough. But it is still a lot of work, a lot of work. Yeah, so we have the uh, 6R we bought, and it is currently out planting I'm gonna leave that there to finish filling up let's see if we can't find the 6R here and I jump in it and just check on it because it has been planting for a little while now so we have field 8 here uh, that had the barley we are now trying to double crop 
in our soybeans. Um, let's just take a look at the calendar here. So yeah, we, we just harvested the barley in June. And you see we can still plant the soybeans here. So And we should harvest those again. Uh, well, it's probably going to be December, it looks like, that we can harvest them. So not bad. We can get two crops off this field this year. And hopefully these soybeans will make, uh, <laughs> make us a lot of money. Hopefully it will. Uh, also, there is soybean straw that is supposed to drop. So we'll see. Maybe that will give us a little extra straw. Um, I'm actually considering trying to find a contract. Uh, there was actually a contract or two. Uh, let's go over here to the ready to harvest menu. Uh, well, it looks like 22 is gone. Let's see what else we have here. We do have a couple of... Yeah, so 34, 47, 53, 64, all of those, even 95. Yeah, actually, every of every contract that's available, we could harvest and get some straw off of. So I'm considering doing that. If I can get all of this work done and move into a contract, maybe I'll get that going. And try to get a little bit more straw. I think we need millions of liters of straw per year because I can not only put that in the biogas plant, I put it in the uh, the cowpens for their bedding creates manure which we can also then put into the biogas plant uh, so yeah it is it's going to be very valuable going forward million and a half liters oh we also need it to mix in with cow food so I don't know if that's going to be enough I just don't but we'll see um, the cow mixer is fairly full with straw right now and as a matter of fact let's take a look and see what we have in there yes yeah, so it's is really full with straw uh as we looked earlier it's pretty good on hay and silage it has a lot of silage in there so that's all good we're going to have to pick up some more mineral feed but you see our uh, tmr is starting to build up almost uh, 900,000 liters in there so we're starting to build it up so that's really good so yeah we've got the 9r out here in the field now i didn't go uh all the way up with the horsepower when I bought this. You see I put the triple uh, tires on there, the trips. And uh, I didn't go all the way maxed out with the, the horsepower. But I did go enough so that we can potentially pull the uh, John Deere air drill cedar at some point in the future. Thought about getting it for this field, planting the soybeans. But then I realized, well, you can actually plant the soybeans with a planter. So, and I couldn't afford it anyway, so it, it just worked out for the best. So we're using the planter here. Uh, unfortunately, we are not using precision farming on this playthrough, so the planter does require fertilizer for the soybeans, which makes no sense. Uh, hopefully, Giants will fix that. In Farming Simulator 25 which undoubtedly has been leaked. So let's jump over and oh, we're back over there. So yeah, we've got this truck here we need to bring back to the farm. I actually brought some manure down here to the biogas plant. Let's jump in and drive first person view. So of course we want to have a lot of bales come off those field. Uh, actually probably quite a few off that big field and then depending on how that goes we probably I probably will pick up that other field uh, the gra other grass field uh, with the uh, forage wagon that way we can just put that straight into that fermenting silo and I think that'll work out good we'll have a lot of silage a whole lot of silage. Plus we also have the cornfield <laughs> that we've got to cut for silage. So yeah, we're going to have plenty of silage this year and that's a good thing. We can sell it. We can put it in a biogas plant. Either way, we'll make a lot of money off of it. So again, we do have the goal of paying down the loan some this year by the end of this game year. 
So I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Oh, I have gone past. Let's see. You know what? You know, I thought I had a... I thought I had a... An auger in this other pin over here. Let's see. Oh, what did I just hit? Do I have one down there? Yes, I do. Yeah, these cows make a lot of manure. Oh, oh, oh. Got, got into the trough there. Oh my goodness, a lot of manure. <laughs> That's so much manure. Let's see. There we go. Very good. So yeah, it's nice having these uh, conveyor belts set up here inside. I cannot imagine trying to use a skid steer or something and scoop all this out. That, that would be impossible. Jeez. Interesting spawn point for the manure. Oh, got the cow climbing on it. All right, so let me uh, get a little bit more stuff done here, and I will bring you back in for the last few minutes of this uh, episode. All right, we just got this guy back over here after refilling uh, the tanks with some more fertilizer and seeds. And uh, I'm just going to drive it a little bit. I actually have not had a chance to really use this tractor, so I'm going to do a little bit of seeding or planting with the 9R and just enjoy driving the tractor. But while we do that, we'll talk about what we have accomplished. Uh, the field, the big field that we're working on bailing the one way over there uh, the baler helper is about halfway done with the field and so far we've got about 1.1 million liters off of that field so that probably will end up about 2 million liters I would think maybe just a little less of the grass that we've got bailed up and wrapped so that will turn into about 2 million liters silage so that'll be good uh, I am going to go ahead and pick up the other field with the uh, the wagon we'll do that between episodes and get that put up into the uh, fermenting silo uh, the other thing I do need to do well, I did not swing wide enough the other thing I need to do is think about putting some more fertilizer back out on the clover fields or the clover field and the two grass fields uh, once we get everything picked up. I still missed a spot. Yeah, we get some fertilizer put out. I'll probably just use the sprayer. Uh, you may be thinking, why am I paying for fertilizer when I have all of the slurry and manure available? Uh, that is a valid question. And uh, mainly because I don't have a way to put that out on the fields just yet. Uh, we don't have a manure spreader. We don't have a slurry spreader uh, so we can't uh, put it out right now uh, maybe at some point in the future we will uh, but right now it's just easier for me to use the sprayer and what it costs me uh, to buy the uh, liquid fertilizer um, I'm making it up uh, after selling the uh, manure and slurry so uh, it's probably just a wash in cost right now so I'm not too concerned about it. But yeah, we are spending a little money on fertilizer. And maybe at some point we can curb that. But yeah, so i got to get the fertilizer put out. Get those fields ready to go. We do have the, the one field uh, that I bought recently on the other side of the farm. Down that way, the little skinny field. Uh, we'll get that planted with soybeans too. Actually, you know what? We won't because the oats will be ready next month. And we'll get those harvested, combine those two fields, and as I think we'll still have time to put the, uh, the soybeans in it and get the double crop there. So that yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll wait and do the uh, 
combining of the fields there and then do that. That'll work out really good. Make that field a little wider. Uh, it's really narrow right now. Both of them are narrow. So it'll make them a little wider and make getting uh, some bigger equipment around it a little easier. So uh, yeah, still moving along really well. We've got a lot going on. The, the animals are doing well. Uh, we don't have any problems feeding them right now. We're able to keep up, so that's been good. Uh, we do have some... You know what? Let's do this. Let's hire a worker here. And I do have something I do want to do before we end this episode. If you look right here, solid fertilizer. $90,000 worth. Well, let's get that sold. Let's get it sold because that is some good money. Just sitting there ready to be taken and sold. So I had brought down some manure with the truck here and left it here because I wanted to get this sold today. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Good thing is we sell it at the uh, sell anything container spot that we have across the road. I do believe that is the only place it takes it. Let's just double check again. Yeah. Yeah, so we actually, right now, we have $1.4 million worth of goods that we can sell. Uh, once this, let's see, grass right here turns into silage, that's going to be a big uh, dollar change there. So we're doing well. Uh, we have a lot coming. Uh, and then with the soybeans that we're going to get later in the year, I think we'll do really, really well this year. I think we will. I was a little worried at first. Um, <laughs> it just seemed like it was going to be quite a struggle. But I think we're doing good. We've got some things in motion. Uh, we've made some, I think, good choices on some activities and items. And it's paying off. It's paying off. Uh, we do have the extra cows now that I had bought between episodes. So the herd's growing. Of course, that does mean we'll need more feed. More food. Uh, probably at some point later this year. We'll see where we are with money. Might need to look into buying yet another field. Oh boy. That way we can expand our operations even more. Because it may get to the point, and I don't know if it will or not, but I may have to put down some type of place for or I have to buy some food. I don't know if we can actually make enough food for these cows. There's going to be so much needed. It may not be possible. But we'll see. There we go. $90,000 off the solid fertilizer. Very profitable. I do think that was a very good call. Even though we're not making as much as we could have been making with the other mod that we had. Uh, a choice of using. I think this is fair. Alright, well I'm going to head back down to the farm and grab another truckload of manure out of the cow barn. We're going to continue the bailing operation. Uh, we'll get on the grass pickup operation at some point. Who knows, that may actually end up going to the bar. Yeah, I think we can get it today without running out of time. And then we'll get the uh, get the rest of the soybeans planted, and we'll be moving into July. So not too many episodes in June. We went through it pretty quickly, and uh, I'm not going to show you guys all, all of the things that we're doing. You know, bailing is bailing is bailing. So we'll just get the bales picked up, put away. We'll keep on trucking. Hope you get. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, please be sure and click that thumbs up button. Uh, if you are not yet a subscriber, maybe new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe today. Uh, check that bell. Make sure you've got that clicked so that you are notified of all of my content. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. I hope you all have a blessed day. Oh boy.
Oh boy.